Yeah. That's exactly what we want to do. Press straight, build that tension, and stand. Can you move? You can sing, right? Here, this is me. Okay, let's go. I think that the overhead position, or at least when you power snatch, it's honestly less uh, straining mobility-wise for stronger people than the front rack. A lot of times people want to power clean and they think that the power clean is easier than the power snatch, which it might be technically, but I think that this position is actually a lot harder with the hand, than the hands out wide and the, the power snatch position. Okay, let's get into it. What I like to think about is getting this bar into the hip crease mm. and then finding where my hands uh, should be okay. with my shoulders back like this, kind of proud chest. And that's where my hands should be basically based off of that. So I've got really long wingspan. That means mm -hmm. collar to collar for me. So okay. if you notice, if I bring my hands in narrower, it's not in my hip crease anymore. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Also, like just like the power clean, we're going to be doing a lot of knuckles down. Gotcha. That's going to be big. And we're going to be hook gripping today. Up tall, and I should be in the hip crease. When we start working out, like a lot of times people just start getting tired and they start doing stuff like this. Mm -hmm. So I always have to focus on my posture and my knuckles down. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get the bar on our back to start because we want to figure out the upper half of the overhead squat. So I'm going to get my hands where they're supposed to be. So that's collar to collar for me, it's pretty easy. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna get the bar overhead and there's a couple rules here before I even squat. Yeah. Lock the elbows, like force them locked. Get used to that, okay? Just get used to forcing the elbows locked. Then I'll turn around to kind of to my side, a little bit of a three quarter angle. Shoulder blades together with the elbows locked, see that? And what's naturally gonna happen is your head is gonna poke through. Now what's key here is not letting the head go really far through and then the elbows kind of start to rotate. You see mm. this? Mm -hmm. Okay, press and together. It's like a, see that little boom? We're not up like this, We're kind of just like that. Mm -hmm. Kind of cementing it into position. So that's lower than hip crease. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna be call he's gonna be collar to collar. That'd you're a pretty tall crease. dude. Yeah. Yep. And then we'll, we'll kind of stand a little bit. Another thing too, whenever we want to posture up, it's the same thing that I said in the power clean. You want to think about like standing up like this, mm -hmm. lifting your chin just a little bit. We don't want to just pack everything in like this to get a big chest. This is actually not a stronger position than lifting like that, okay? Okay. Now Ooh. roll, yep. I yep. did not now wear the other. Right in the hip crease, you can kind of get. Yes. You're gonna solidly hit every time. Now, once you get tired and everything starts to roll out, now we're no longer in the hip crease. Uh -huh. You see that? Yeah. Okay, so now let's get the bar on the back. Okay, so now press it overhead. And so what I want you to do, yeah, that's already a pretty good position. Let's get the bar right over us like this. Right like over? right there, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe even like right, right there and like kind of look up. Yeah, okay. So this is what we don't wanna do. Uh, and yeah. what we're gonna try to do is get the head down, pull the chin down a little bit and that's a little bit too far back, right there. Now you can kind of see it's over like the base of his skull more, and it's, everything's in line, wrists, elbows, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles. What's really important is just getting used to getting our hip crease below the knee crease. And what a lot of you guys are gonna find is if we just go, go to that and we're not used to it, this position is not really ideal, especially when we have to have weight over our head. Eventually, we <laughs> want to be able to sit up and get our hands overhead. Wow, I'm surprised I can do that this cold right now. Nice. Okay, but uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to use this as support. Dude, I love, look at this. Look yeah. at this lack of mobility. Okay. I can't do what you just did. I promise you, you're going to get it by the end. I promise you <laughs> okay. once, once we get warm. Okay. So one thing that I love doing, and I, I don't see enough of this, mm -hmm. is learning the squat from the bottom up rather than learning it from the top down. Rather than standing and trying to get into a compensated position, let's get in this compensated position, figure out what we need to figure out while we can rest, mm. and then learn to stand from there. So what I like to do is actually like kind of sit back like this. Like I'm taking taking a sh just kind of relax, okay? Not a big deal. Okay. What we're gonna do is kind of like figure this out, get the knees pulled out to the side, posture up, there. And what you can see is, you can see how when I can load everything, my butt kind of naturally comes off. Mm-hmm. 
You see this? Now my hip crease is below my knee crease and I load and my hip and my, and so that means all of the tension is on me. It's not on the blocks. Mm. Yeah. So sit back, relax. Yeah. Now posture. Now try and find that tension. Yeah. See how you just adjusted? Like kind of naturally you adjusted your feet to, to be more solid and be more upright. Yeah. That's exactly what we want to do. We just want to find this natural position to where we can get more vertical. And what's going to be awesome is when you add in this, this is just like artificial dorsiflexion here, right? You'll be sitting much more vertically. Nice. Okay. okay. Pretty cool. cool, right? Very cool. Okay. So what we're going to do is the same exact thing that we just did. Okay. We're just going to have the bar overhead. Now I'm going to sit back, right? I can just relax posture. Now I'm going to press directly over my head. This is not what we want. Okay. But I do have locked out elbows. What I'm going to do is find that position. You guys see that? Mm. Find it. And now I can stand out. See that? I saw that. Now, yeah. this will be very difficult for some people who have never kind of worked on it. So all I can do is just add height. This is the process right here, guys. We're up vertically, we press vertically, find our spot. See how I can build that tension? Mm-hmm. See this, guys? Boom. And now I can stand. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bring it back down. Oh, and just, I'm just gonna squat sit. back down. So press straight, rotate through, try and build that tension. Yeah. Now, now we bring it back down and just relax. One more time. Press straight, build that tension, and stand. Good. And relax. We're gonna try now and learn from the top down. Same drill as before. We're just gonna add in some steps. Sitting back, pressing overhead coming through, establishing that tension. Now, what happens to people now at this point is we start to see this, mm. okay? If you lock the elbows and press them locked, then you reach forward, you can build a ton of torque, and a ton of tension in the middle back. Mm -hmm. Up, bring it back down, relax. Now what I'm gonna do is basically the same thing. Press straight, find that tension. Now I can sit to there. When you're at the top and you bring your, you're here and then you bring your head forward. When you bring your head forward, you feel, do you feel that tension in your mid back and yes. then you start to come yes. down? What's interesting is like, we talk a lot about having a vertical chest, but in order, there has to be some level of incline. There has to be some deviation. Mm because we have to develop the hip crease being below the knee crease at the bottom. There are a lot of people who are very, very flexible, not me and you in the in dorsiflexion, come really far forward and they can get low, but you'll notice the difference between their hip crease and their knee crease is not that great. Mm. And what ends up happening is if they have to catch and sink lower, their hips slip out the back and they're gonna miss. What we create is when we have lower hip crease than knee crease, we have like kind of this equal stability on the front, uh, uh, sorry, on the back being the hips and the front of the bar. If we don't have that, everything's in front of the bar, our hips are in line, we kind of get stuff like this. Okay. And this is a common position in, in weightlifting with people who are like crazy flexible. One more time, here's the full drill. Straight, load, stand. Bring it back down. Straight, load, sit. Okay? Press it straight up, load, stand. Be careful by when you're loading too much now. You're kind of like really. I went forward too fast. Yeah, you're leaning too much. We wanna create ten tension in the traps, like pulling it together like this. We don't wanna just send it forward like that. Straight. Elbows. Oh. Uh, that's a little bit too far, right there, yeah. Let's redo that. So, so I want you to, when you, when we press straight, it's going to look ridiculous. Put it almost over your forehead, but like you're like, like you're really standing straight up and down with the bar straight overhead. Okay. So here, yes, that's not a ideal position. Yeah. It feels really heavy. now find it, find that spot. Yeah. Right there. Now go reach for the box. Good. Now bring it back down. Press it straight overhead. That not so good position. Okay. Good. Reach forward. Stand. Beautiful. Essentially what I've done is exhausted all possible 
reasons for him to not have a good overhead squat. And then I can add in one little thing to help him. And it's gonna make him feel a lot better. So go ahead, put your shoes on. I'll put mine on as Zach, well. Can you move? You can sing, right? I was trying to think of a good, here, this is me. Okay, let's go. Good boy, Zach. Ooh, look at you. Finally, I can add these into the mix. My cheating shoes. A lot of people don't have the mobility in their hips and like really I like to think about like the groin mm -hmm. area because mm -hmm. we need to be able to clear things out of the way for us to get our hips in the right spot. Yeah. And so um, a lot of you might not have this ability right now. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to develop and maybe you don't make a first, past that first stage of like get sitting up. Mm -hmm. properly without because like a lot of people are going to sit down here and the only way up for them is to like really lean mm. and you can't have the bar overhead like this mm -mm. right so what I, I guess what I mean is like now that we're in this position press straight up and down like I can almost really play with uh. not having to lean forward much like here's the difference in in deviation between just this is where we're, we're not, this is not a realistic bottom position till now we're like right here. Yeah. See, so I can develop that tension mm -hmm. and I can just stand. Okay. Same thing. I can get it right overhead. And now the difference is kind of like that. Yeah. What you'll notice when you do this properly is like, it's not just your traps that are on fire. It's literally right here in the mid back. It's like almost like they're, they're on the verge of, uh, they're like, they're like on the verge of cramping right here. It's like a, it's a posture that you like have not felt and it's very strange, but it's like key in weightlifting. All right, we go. So give it a go. Press overhead. Yep, and then. So now it's overhead. Yeah. Uh, I would actually, can you bring it back down to your, let's develop tension before we get into any of this. Like feeling like you. Apologies for no deodorant. You're smelling That's me right, right now. No, no, no. So like, there's like still this little round area. Like, I want you to think that we're, you, you don't have the box. The box doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. So are, if I took this out from you, you would fall. Yeah. There. That's where I would be. Yes. Yes. Now press overhead. Okay. Right there. Now stand as hard as you can. Stand. Good. Now bring it back down. Press. Tap that box. Oh, you were, you were good Lost right the... there. Yes, right there. See how you've kind of fell? Yeah. So wait, not this, Okay, so this is an interesting thing because what we were just doing, we were initially, we were just pressing it overhead. Yeah. But when I pressed it overhead and I put it here, you, you now want me to kind of create tension. So you want to press overhead while creating tension in the I back? would just say now at this point, just create the tension and then try and press it. Cause it's going to be the tension and then yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like really get. Yeah. I, I feel that. Up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now can you get it overhead? This is going to be tough. This, this is going to be tough, yeah. but I, I can. Yeah. Yeah. Now go up. Yes. That's really difficult. Okay. Like that right there. Like we would not have been able to develop that any other way. Okay. Than the way we just did. Okay. okay. So good. I'm just going to scoot this back a little bit. Cause now we're just going to go. Okay. We're going to pretend like that box is there. And ideally we'll be able to pause in that bottom position, but if we can't, that's okay. We're here. And again, I want to be able to develop, see how I'm like ready to go. Mm -hmm. It's going to be difficult if I'm here, like, you oh, know, God, no. like I can't, I'm not going to be able to squat like this. So I have to be able to find that position to where I'm like, like this. And now I can get down to the bottom and I can stand. And I can make that bottom position my home. Zachary, does yeah. anyone ever call you Zachary? My mother. Is, is it actually Zachary? You're just yeah. Zach. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna get deodorant because I smell like a monkey. Okay. That was the worst term to use in this video. I didn't We're gonna say keep it. that shit in. I didn't shit. say it. Quick pro tip never tell your black friend he smells like a monkey. Not a good look. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna. <laughs> Press overhead. Then build tension good. and squat. Yeah, build tension. There we go. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah. You do it again. Yeah. Okay, good. And that's just going to take time. 
Okay, now we're gonna go into the power snatch and because he's warm and because he has, you know, that foundation of an overhead position, it's gonna go a lot faster. Nani, can I see that again, please? One more time. I can't believe you just said Nani. Boom! Mm. Stay, good. 185 pound power snatch first day. That's very, very, very legit.